vital chair. condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. And one of these days, I believe there's going to come a command yes, sir. from the Father to the Son, Jesus, Amen, brother. saying, Son, it's time uh, to go get your bride. Yes, sir. There you are, brother. Not I'm not looking forward time. to that time when he comes back and Gabriel blows that yeah. trumpet. Uh, the dead in Christ will rise, will rise, rise first, first, brother. first mm-hmm. and we which are alive and remain will be caught up to meet him in the mm-hmm. middle of the air. Yeah, I believe that. And we'll have a new body <coughs> lacking unto mm-hmm. his ears. Uh-huh. Amen. And so shall we Amen. ever be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. When we get there, now that's solid God. I believe that we will begin to sing a song Amen. written Amen. and composed Amen. by God Almighty. Amen. A song that holy angels can't even sing. Amen. I've been redeemed. Let me 
fill your mouth peace. And I'm going to let God fill my lips with the words to say. And the words that's on my lips this morning, church, is I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lord. Of being redeemed. You feel the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who healeth thy disease? Who forgiveth thy iniquities? Who hath redeemed us? That word redeemed. I begin to think about it, Brother Fred. Oh, there's a there's a lot in that word. Redeemed. When I first start down in this way, my brother Jason, uh, some of the old timers would look at me and say, Brother Joe, uh, stay out of the Old Testament and stay out of Revelation. I said to them old brothers, what do you want me to preach on? Uh, they turned to the uh, book of John about the first through the four chapters and they said, this little bit right here is too good to preach on. Wow. But there is a whole other. Yeah. It's got a line up from Genesis to Revelation. Here a little, there a little. It's got a line upon line, a precept upon precept. I begin to read about redemption, and I can find Jesus from Genesis to Revelation. Jesus, I might have come in the flesh in the book of Matthew and Bethlehem. She began to uh, uh, say, well, we need to move to a place called Moab. And when they went to Moab, uh, they got out of the will of God. Yeah. And because of their disobedience, uh, they began to uh, uh, see people die in the family, uh, one right after another. Uh, next thing you know, uh, Elimelech uh, and his two sons, uh, they began uh, to look for them a while. And the Bible says that she lighted 
where she was gleaning was in a place of a man named Boaz. Yeah. And the Bible says that she went to that man. Yes, she did. He found favor yeah. with her. Yeah. I want you to know today that the Bible says that after she found favor with him, she went after that and he held court yeah, buddy. in the city there in Bethlehem. And there was another next of kin that was really rightfully supposed to take Ruth. They called that the kinsman redeemer. I told you I've been thinking about the Redeemer. The Bible says that that man, he said, I'll take her. I'll make her my wife. But if I do, I'll lose everything I've got. Amen. I'll lose all my inheritance. Yeah. Boaz said, I'll take her. Before he know her past, before he had time to ask her what she'd been doing the last ten years, yeah. before he knew anything yeah. about her, he yeah. said, I'll take her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? That is what a redeemer does. By the Spirit of God. You might be down and out. Mm -hmm. You might be lost today. Somebody said, well, so-and-so was in a bar last night uh, uh, drinking. Let me tell you about a new wine that I've been drinking oh. today. Uh, there was some people there on the day of Pentecost. Uh, the Bible says it was just the third hour of the day. Uh, oh. And uh, some people said, well, they're drunk. Uh, they said, we're not as drunk as you men suppose, but we're drunk on a new wine. Hey. Let me tell you about it today. Uh, uh, there's a man uh, uh, who saved your every night. So I hope you will only put your faith and trust in him. Uh, he don't care where you've been. Uh, uh, somebody said, uh, I don't want to preach to the drugs. Bring me the drugs in. Uh, uh, bring all. The Bible says I've got a Jesus uh, uh, who said, come unto me. Uh, all you that are weary and heavy laden. Uh, and I'll give you rest. Uh, come on to me and drink the waters of life freely. Uh, somebody said, I don't care. Uh, that's just a common prostitute is what they called the woman there in the street that day when Jesus walked there. Yeah. Yeah. He wrote something in the sand. Yes, sir. Them Pharisees and Sadducees was there with their holier than thou attitudes. <laughs> yep. They said stone her to death. She'd be stoned to death. And that what man, say? by his redemption to her, said, He that is without sin, that's the first that's stone. The first stone. Yeah. And the Bible says, Get back to Ruth and Boaz. The prettiest thing she ever heard in her life was in rocks. That union between Ruth and Boaz is still alive today. Amen. Amen. Some people say, what are you talking about, Brother Joe? That's awful deep. Well, let me make it real simple for you. Ruth was the great-grandmother of King David. Hello, sir. And there was a man that was the root and offspring of David. That's uh, right. In the natural. And this man came that you could have life and have more money. I've been redeemed today. I've been redeemed by the same one that redeemed that woman that they called an adulterer that day. Uh, that nobody could cast a stone at. I've been redeemed by the same uh, man who comes here today to walk in the aisle saying, whosoever will let him come. Amen. Get your song, brothers. I want you to know today that I love you, but there's one here that loves you a whole lot more than I do. Up, and he wants to see you go to heaven. I bless you today.
Yeah, Lord. 
Yeah.